Hello Capricorn, welcome to your gratitude reading for November the 20th through the 30th. Your rune this week is the All Geese rune, the rune of protection. And just laying out your cards and stuff, I am excited for your reading here. Your first stone is Citrine, the Merchant's Stone. Finances, creativity, enhances self-esteem, attracts abundance and prosperity. We have angel light. Yay! You are not a lone stone. Helps you to speak your truth. It's very cleansing. Brings serenity and relieves stress. Then we have adventure team. Abundance. Breaks the poverty mindset. Helps you pursue your goals with passion and opens the heart to a state of immense love. And then we have black gold stone, one of my favorites. Look how beautiful that is. I could just do this for hours. <laughs> it is known as the light at the end of the tunnel. Brings cosmic connection. We are all part of the universe. Each of us a speck of light in the darkness. And at the center of our square here, I put our clear quartz crystal in every reading just to bring you lots of positive energy and healing okay our stone people card is otter medicine feminine energy and playfulness it's wonderful your spirit animal is the swan which asks you to take a deep dive into your thoughts, your feelings, your goals, and dreams. Sign and symbol card. Oh, is Morning Star. You're going to be given guidance about this deep dive. Very interesting. And then look at what we get on our Four Agreements card. Learn to ask questions. Another swan. It is always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you are clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to a question, you won't have to make assumptions because you will know the truth. Powerful. So we have two swans here already. Okay. What your cards say? Vision quest, seeking and finding. That's about the same as your uh, swans. Taking a deep dive, really looking deeply at where you are in your life, how you feel about things. Maybe what you need. Okay, Sister Moon says that communication is key. Wow, that's just what this said, didn't it? Don't make assumptions. Make sure that you know the truth. Communicate. Okay, then we have the wise one. Grow within your current situation. No matter what that situation is, there are lessons to be learned and things to be grateful for. Okay, and then, oh my gosh, look at this. Swan spirit, 
time for a deep dive. Wow, that is crazy. Mm -hmm. Three swans. Time to really look within and ask yourself the hard questions. Wow, that was really powerful. And remember, you are being given guidance. That communication, opening your mouth is incredibly important. Letting people know how you feel or what you need. And then we had our wise one grow within this situation. If you take the time to take a deep dive and your vision quest is saying the same thing. So you have four cards about looking within there will be things to learn and there probably most probably will be change as well okay so we're going to talk about our homework from last week and you were to write down things that you are grateful for so first of all I want to say thank you thank you thank you to my subscribers for all your support I really, truly appreciate it. And then I started a list of the most basic things like water and air and food. We forget to be grateful that we have clean running water because most of the world does not. Then I was grateful for home and family, children, I was thankful for all the abilities that I have to do for myself. Uh, then I kind of turned to nature. And I'm so grateful for all the animals and the standing people, the sky, the sunset, the stars. I'm grateful for human abilities like creativity and innovation, compassion, empathy, and kindness. But it's very simple, very easy to be grateful for those things. Uh, just like with love, it is easy to love lovable, sweet, kind people. But that is not where our challenge comes in. We were told to love thy enemy. That is where the challenge is. And it is the same with gratefulness. It is very easy to be grateful for the cute things and the pretty things and stuff. But how about opening your heart enough? This is where the challenge comes in. To be grateful for the hard things. For the hardest lessons of your life. For the hurt and the heartbreak and maybe even losing someone you love. Can you open your heart enough to be grateful for those things? Because that is where the soul growth comes in. <sighs> so we have a quote here that kind of sums that up. True forgiveness is when you can say, thank you for that difficult experience. And then we have a, uh, another quote for you. Gratitude is the single most important ingredient to living a successful and fulfilled life. That came from Jack Canfield. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with an open and grateful heart. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.